so starting with this optics so i have just shown that we are just going to study over here the nature of light the propagation of light and the propagation that is production of light basically we know that the source of light is the sun the light is traveling from all the way from the sun towards the earth so how it behaves so how it behaves means so how it propagates when it enters from that vacuum to the earth atmosphere what happens exactly over there so that is related to the propagation production that we have seen let's say the natural source is the sun again what is the nature so that nature depends so there are two kinds of nature we are going to study that is wave nature as well as particle nature so based on the given experiment so it might be your wave nature or your particle nature so broadly we are going to classify this optics in two types one is nothing but your ray optics so in ray optics again it deals with the particle nature of light and is based on the rectilinear propagation of light so rectilinear propagation means the light is going to travel in a straight line again it is going to verify the laws of reflection and refraction of light so that also we are going to study in details so that is your ray optics where we assume that light is having the particle nature and based on that we are just going to derive the various relations again the particle nature of light means the object is going to emit the light in the form of particles again the next one that way optics so in way optics we are going to study the phenomenon like that is the interference diffraction polarization where we assume that light is having wave nature means the source of light is going to emit the light in the form of waves so these waves so there might be possibility that so when they interfere so there is a pattern produced so where sometimes it might be a dark band or it might be a bright band so that is nothing but a kind of interference again if we just talk about the diffraction so the diffraction is nothing but we can say that it is a bending of light or the spreading of light again the polarization of light so we are saying that sometimes polarized glasses so these are the special kind of glasses which reduces the intensity of light so that is what we can say the polarization of light so that is all nothing but your concepts which are based on your wave optics now coming to the next point so the behavior of light at the interface of two media so where i can just say that definitely so the light is going to incident on this your interface so definitely that interface let's say it separates your medium 1 and medium 2 again how i am going to distinguish that medium 1 and medium 2 so one i will say that let's say for example one is optically denser another is optically rarer medium so the two different medium are there means they are just differ in the density so one i can say that depends on the velocity of light in a particular medium one is optically denser one is optically rarer so optically denser means the velocity of light is less in optically denser medium and the velocity of light is more in optically rarer medium so that is how we can just distinguish the medium yeah so let's say here there are two mediums one and two then you can see the incident ray over here then this is the normal which i have drawn so the normal is perpendicular to that interface then the angle between incident ray and normal is the angle of incidence and again this one i can say that definitely this i and this is also i i shown obviously according to that laws of your reflection we can say that so this is also you can say this is your angle r yeah so this i and r both are equal over here fine so that also we are going to study over here so this one you can call it as a reflected angle yeah so this is either you can say that this one is also r fine so this is medium 1 then this is medium 2 then this one is nothing but your refracted ray over here yes yeah, so this one also i am just saying that angle of refraction yeah so just to distinguish this angle i just say that this is your angle of refraction so these two cases i have shown in the same diagram yeah so the part of light will get reflected part of the light will get refracted both reflection and refraction i have included in the same diagram 
so this is what about the reflection of light when the light falls on some polished surface or on some objects most of the light will get reflected into the same medium so this one i can call that ao is nothing but your incident ray then again this no this is nothing but your normal that i can say and again this bo is nothing but obviously which is your reflected ray so again we can say that definitely this incident ray and reflected ray so we can say this angle that is nothing but angle of incidence and this your angle of reflection yeah so we will see that definitely the laws of your reflection over here also yeah so this is how we are just going to show that diagram which we called it as a reflection of light